Very good. I like that. Very enthusiastic. These guys are already dead, so we don't hurt any oysters. But they live for about eight years in Japan. They produce blue, black, gold, white, silver, pink and green. You cannot eat these, sir, because they are a different species. And they've been dead six months. And they've been kept in chemicals. So you'd be very sick if you try to eat this guy. No? species always has a well, they're cultured oysters, so what we do is we implant this little seed here when they're about two years old, oh. and the oyster, its entire life, will coat that seed with the oil. It's called nacre. And the reason they do that is because they have this special gland right here on the outside of their body. Mm -hmm. That's what actually produces the oil. Oh. So when it's on the shell, it's mother of pearl. When it's on the irritation, it's a pearl. Very simple. So if we look, here's your oyster's foot. Mm -hmm. On the end of the foot is the mouth, and your pearl's the only hard thing in their body. So I can feel you got one right down here. We're going to squeeze that guy. Wow, look at that. You got a very beautiful white pearl. Now, white pearls stand for innocence and purity. So let me just double check. Okay. <laughs> but they're worth a lot more. So on here is just some regular table salt. We use salt to clean them, and we only do that once when they first come out. You don't want to do that again because they're um, salt abrasive, so it's going to exfoliate the pearl. So the pearl may have what's well, like kind of like a dry skin, so we want to clean them off so it's really shiny. And what did you say it was that it is made of? It's made out of oil. So they're oil-based. So in order for a pearl to stay shiny, which means lustered, to stay really healthy and strong, you need to wear them. Because the body oil is going to keep them moist. Because it's been in this very wet, wet, moist environment the whole time it was being made. So that's where they really thrive the best, is in a wet environment. So we keep them wet with our body oil. So I'm going to measure your pearl for you. I'll give you a value. Wow, that's a beautiful pearl. See, it's almost <laughs> exactly, it's like exactly the average size we see. This guy's a six, six and a half. I think that's the same as the one before. So if you want to mount this pearl into jewelry today, it'd be worth $35 to $45. Did you want to see some things we could do for a gentleman? Uh, I would actually